guys. They're both excellent players. Chet Burr. asking. Yeah. Sorry, uh, Chet asking, is the winner going to get 10K clean? No, the 10K is split amongst everyone in the top mm -hmm. 32. So, um, yeah, we'll breakdown on the pay down. Yeah. Let's go. I'm actually going to look at the breakdown real quick, guys. Um, again, everyone that made this top 32 console combat uh, finale is getting paid. The grand prize is going to be $2,500 to the winner. Second, $1,500. Third, $750. Fourth, $500. Fifth, $350. That's about $350 right there. Seventh, getting $265. Ninth, $225. And then, as you can see, they're going down 13th, 17th, and 25th. All of those placements that tied are going to get paid. But we're getting into the big money here. Winner of this is going to move into winner's finals, which is guaranteed top three. So you're guaranteed, guaranteed top three in a sweet so juicy fight against Ninja Killer. You're guaranteed 750 with a victory here. Wow. If that's if that statement doesn't tell you what's on the line, nothing else will. It doesn't get crazier than that, man. They're fighting for money. These guys are fighting for that money. And, you know, I got to say, Gur has been writing the book for Eternal Gears. Oh, my God. He's been coming in with a different skin every single time he shows up in these tournaments. I got to say, this is pretty sick. Man, came in with the Frankenstein gear. Is basically saying that this character is a potato brain dead idiot. Let's see how he does. Right off the start, he's going to go with the reversal. The reverse time. Oh, my God. Rewind leaping at him from the top of the roof. Ooh. Catch him swinging. This is going to be a really big test for Gur because this is a character where the, the zoning to keep away isn't going to be as effective as we saw against other characters. This is the ultimate test of keep away because you cannot contain Jackie Baybridge. Oh no! The oh my God, it's okay. Gears didn't feel that because he really doesn't have range. Three, three ninety-five off of that, by the way. That's too much damage, bro. No and look, she said, get up! She said, get up! Teleport! I Man, dare you! Teleport! Let's see what happens, guys. This is getting real savage here. He tried to catch him with a jump too, but for some odd reason, it whiffed. It whiffed on Gearus. Was was Gur using this skin yesterday as well? Or was OG Gearus right? Gear skin yesterday? Oh, OG Gears. So yep. he's, like, he's just changing things up on us. Maybe this is did. maybe this is the practice for offline play where the gear is randomized. <laughs> he wants to make it as, as, as comfortable as possible. Know. As close to tournament experience you, as possible. Exactly. You never know the little things that can affect someone competitively. Like, you aren't used to having your own skin and that could throw you off. You never know with these with these players. 100%, bro. I feel like Gur might have like a little pet peeve like that. You might have just cracked the, the secret to Gur's competitive play. Oh, he tried to jump out of there. He saw that Jackie Briggs advancing full force. Whoa, did he just flawless block? I... I, I... What? I don't understand what just happened. I was obviously not paying attention to this match. Go oh, the scoop again. 150 because we're in the corner. Looks like gonna be. Oh my goodness! Red the jump there and rewind with the up up terminal attempt, and now they're walking each other down. And Gerb needs to be careful for the leap though. One leap in a dream. One leap in a dream. One hit confirm in a dream. One anything in a dream. Aquaman. Oh my God. Woo, got, got the end there for two, but no follow-up time is a ticket, ticket, ticket into the future, but gets opened up by the 1-1. One, one. Thought a flawless block was maybe going to come. Gears does, uh, I believe, still have that one, off of jump-ins. The 1-1 one, one is still flawless blockable. Wow. Going to go with a down one forward three, two, boys. Big head masters. Okay, he's going to go with a down one, but it doesn't matter. Rewind's going to open him up with big boy damage here. The corner special galore. Corner beat down, boys. Dude, he's going all out right now. What a read from Gurr! What a read and perfectly set up into the best possible situation, I think. Oh, he just used it to, like, fall back a bit. He used it to make the string a lot more safer than it and already how, is. How, how many times has he gone into clone off these stray hits that have also read breakaway? Look right here. Oh, didn't read it this time around, though. I have expected a, a, a clone off that normal. He said, come off all your resources, bro. And unhand me! <laughs> unhand me! Scared. Oh, I didn't even know he had that out. Out of here. You, it didn't even show. Oh, he's got another one set up. How are you supposed to keep track of something that's not on the screen? It's hard, man. The jump one. This guy has been knocking him out of the air all day with these jump ones. Plus 17. Oh, it's like command oh, Nip damage territory. Waiting it up, but he gets clipped by the max distance with a jump one. Oh. The are you kidding me? 
Mr. Aquamans. That was so sick. Yo, Gur is feeling it right now, man. That was Gur's game, if anything, but the one hit come from into the... You know, that's hype guy. commentary. If you guys are enjoying this action, make sure you follow Round the one. channel. Fight. Follow CGL1. This is not the end of the Mortal Kombat action on this channel, from what I've heard through Grapevine. And by <laughs> yes. Grapevine, I mean, I watched uh. yesterday. Gonna go with the one one boys into a back two two pickup. Weathering the storm. Whoa, whoa! I'm in four dash through it all. Oh, here comes the. Yeet. That's a yeet and a half. Sixty percent corner carry. Creates his own wall to bash you in. Oh, he's right, for it right in her culo right now. This guy gave her the two cantazos. Oh, try to catch the get up roll with the down four, but it's not gonna catch him, but it's okay. Gurr, what a beautiful command grab, dragging him all the way across the screen. Upgraded and new era, uh, sorry, sorry, eternal and new era, have that uh, added off of forward two. Forward two, one, two, nerf, low. He can still take throw off of it. Oh, good grab. Right Keep there. Guessing. Get some massive damage off it, confirming it. And there's the girl that we're used to. There's the flawless box to get us started here, Destroyer. That was insane. And to Did the corner. No. No. That was a flawless block jump kick in the corner, carry. What a read. Full delay of the wake up. Making Gur whiff. Nice side switch coming from Rewind. What's it going to be for breakfast here? It's patience. I got to say, I don't know how the hell Rewind guessed that one. Gur straight up dashed up like a maniac and went for a raw command grab. Rewind with the neutral. God, her legs. She's not going to be able to jump anymore. And just as I say that, she jumps. And a knee, a forward three, sit down. Yo, you saw the swag for that finisher? Dude teleported right in her face with a sweep. Have that level of creativity. And, and look at that. It, it turns out these characters with that level of creativity seem to be the most broken. Round one, fight. I mean, might have a point there. <laughs> Look at that you know, start. Or is it, or is it, is it these characters that? Oh, he's out of there. Are complete destroyer. These are complete characters that can play defensive, offensive. Yeah, this is the Aunt Jemima complete mix right here. You got Gearis, fully functional, looking like a potato head, and he's going full force right now with the whoa, Frankenstein whoa, whoa, whoa. skin. That's Mr. Potato Head to you. <laughs> Yo, look at this. He got him in the corner. Rewind. I was about to call him the Oxys, man. This upgraded Jackie's looking just as elite, if not. Can he get out of the corner, though? Starting to bully him as Rewind. Rewind, not afraid to put himself in the corner either. There's a stuff. It's an air shrapnel, not close enough for the up shrapnel pickup. Coming from downtown with the people's elbow and the back throw back to the corner. No, Do not pass no, go. Do not collect $200. $200 on the line. Also, make sure you guys are collecting your channel points in the chat. I'm racked up with a 3,800 channel points. Oh my! I've never seen the flawless block up to off of the post shrapnel block. Insanity, girl. Insanity. I think he tried another one right there. You saw the, the short hop attempt. I think he was going for another flawless block. Keep us safe. That's minus two, I believe. Look how, look how many more options that this character has to, to, to still stay safe. And can and mix up off of that string. It's nuts. He caught him with a forward two into the command grab. Now he's full screen. He's gonna have a little chance here to zone out, but upgraded Jackie, quite the character. She's like impossible to keep out. You know, that, that hop. What a read into the flawless block. This is back oh, mayhem. This is, this is madness. This is Sparta! So now, now Rewind is gonna make a mental note. If, if I make that again, it has to be short hop. Otherwise, you don't have enough time to punish. And Gur, covering that so well, I would have put the pad down if I jumped a command grab and got punished for it. He got punished for jumping a command grab, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to comprehend that. For I can't second. comprehend it. You're gonna have to take me to school and write it on the chalkboard. Thalma in the face, another one in the mouth. Breaking all her facial features. Oh my God. Oh, what 
what did he try to wake up with there? Rewind's just gonna open him up, and he's gonna reverse the time on everybody. What the oh, hell no. is happening? I, yeah, I think Rewind's 4-3 could have punished him there. I don't think he believed. Oh, he tried to, he tried to get the dandy out there. Look at that 4-2-2 crushing blow. Not getting it, waiting out. Oh, the shrapnel blasts. Loaded up. In those gauntlets of Jackie Bay breaks for breakfast. Probably making a minute to throw and wonderful read the command row. And oh my God. My question is why he went to pick up the grenade? What was he going to do with it? Eat it? That's, that goes to show how stupid get this gear is. That's you all see what I'm imagine. saying, Uncle Man? Yeah. This is man it? saw the grenade. Listen. He said, he said, grenade? What's this? Huh? What, what does that? <laughs> 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 That's exactly what Eight, happened. Nine, Drops a grenade and tries to pick it up and it's gone. Later. <laughs> Same thing happens. Same thing. Round one. Fight. Oh my god, they're going right back into it. This could be possibly the last match. Rewind looking so dominant with this upgraded Jackie. This character is stupid! What a read! Gonna neutral duck underneath the dash punch. Giving her the triple cantazo supreme. He got all that health back, by the way. Sort of point that out, and if you're ahead of the defensive bar, you, you know enough two would have been coming out that fall is blocking the jump in. Oh, no! No need to keep that going, but it's not your turn. In that situation, she is so plus off of the off of these shrapnel cancels. Hard to get those buttons wow. out there. It's trying it's, it's, it's to disrespect this character, too. Even on the low pound, so plus on hit. And now we have a match point here for Rewind. Oh, damn. Yeah, that was pretty odd. Um, this guy, he caught a beautiful neutral duck punish, but he just went for a stagger instead. And then once he tried to go for the grab, screwed him over. Rewind took full advantage of the situation. Okay, keeping it safe with the, with the strong fist. Oh, oh and minus six. If that got him burned earlier. The, the shrapnel whiff outside of range. And then coming in with the jump one to have that extended hitbox. Flipping Gur pressing buttons back to back for rewind on the same setup. Oh, watch your toes. Ooh, trying to oh, shimmy on the but flawless block, boys, from Gur. He's giving it right into Culito. He said, Toma, Toma. Now let me take you to the corner. Oh, okay. He missed time that little jump in. Just Dude, tell me why. One, one, are you kidding me? That's going to tag him? Tell me why. Most of Gur's damage has come off of punishing jumps. That goes to show, man. He's probably been lavin' this the, the whole night yesterday. Final round. That is that is one thing that, you know, our meta, our competitive meta of MK11 can only go up from here. And since, since the game's release. The more we see these players get all these intricate things down, you know, these, the, the, these really deep mechanics that you don't really see at a casual level. This is what's going to separate the boys from the men. More so... Then you know, just just good gameplay. One hundred percent, man. You you're not you're speaking straight facts. And you know that's something we're we're lacking too. I mean, I, I don't know you personally, but me personally, yep. I'm yep. lacking on on like you know the the whole flawless block meta. I'm falling behind. I'm not gonna lie. And I feel if you want to be in tip top shape to be able to compete against the best of the best, it's like Aquaman said. You really gotta be on top of your game. You really gotta be on top of these high level mechanics, these you know advanced mechanics. And you gotta put them to work. Like that's what Gurr is doing here. If the game is gonna give you a tool to use to, to win, use it. It's that simple. Match point for Rewind, ship territory, and no defensive bar to save him. Rewind gonna take it three to one. A previous world champion making the return to form when he wow. needs it the most. Right here before Final Combat. And with a piece of $10,000 on the line tonight, he's gonna be a guaranteed top three and, and so this is had, this has been just a return to form for Rewind, not having the best start to competitive MK11. Um, you know, at all, Combo Breaker getting 25th, CEO getting 33rd. Finally turning things around at Evo, getting 9th, right? That's where we kind of saw the turnaround at, at a 1,600 people getting 9th place. That, that's where he's starting to feel himself. And then right after that, he won the Pro Competition Online West, which was still pretty tough, and then won Celtic Throwdown. So back-to-back -back victories in the Pro Competition. And he's been doing really well since. And, you know, it, it took a while. But he's finally here and amongst the elite of MK11. So shouts to Rewind for 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 sticking through it all. Oh, that's that is yeah, some heavy duty stuff right there.